Our third conference has as a theme, how is water innovation succeeding in Europe? So let's talk water innovation. In Europe we have a, a economical loss in tourism and aquaculture sector of 850 million euros per year, just in Europe. We have heard uh, from participants here at this conference that they perceive the lack of finance as a major obstacle. EU cohesion policy will provide about 35 billion euros to environmental protection. We will also have 41 billion euros for innovation in all areas. But cohesion policy is not only about the money, it's also about uh, providing a framework that supports member states and their regions and cities in using those funds. There's always this notion of the credit crunch or we need more finance. No there's even too much finance. What we have is not the right kind of finance for innovation. Innovation needs uh, patient, not impatient, long-term committed capital. If you look at the vast majority of things that people try to bring to the market, it's actually an invention but not innovation because it's just incrementally better than what is there. And you always have to think about somebody has to pay for this and somebody has to take a risk to use it. And for something that's just three or four percent better than what is used today, why bother? We believe that the EIP can do something which we as WCP can't, which is they can reach out to a much broader uh, diversity of stakeholders than we can do. In this new project AFRI Alliance, which is the Africa EU Innovation Alliance on Water and Climate, we have actually modeled ourselves with that project, with the platform we're trying to set up, very much on the EIP for water. We saw the benefits that the action groups bring. You know, it's a very diverse set of communities of practice that we've seen emerge. Although they always say bringing the Dutch when there's a water problem, uh, we also learn a lot when we work abroad. First of all, we know that for Europe to grow, we really have to look at export. And export is only possible if you have a home market. The, we try to identify the, the priority area which is uh, relevant for stakeholders in the Danube, which is a uh, habitat for 80, 80 million people of Europe. Oh, we are in an European uh, project uh, with another cluster for another regions. Uh, we collaborate with this and, and also we are working in other countries like Peru, where also they have a lot of places where they need also uh, yeah, solutions that are cheap and also uh, introduce the new technologies. If you're looking at the southern, southern Europe, the, it's very very much driven by water scarcity issues, where again we in, uh, in the Scandinavian countries, we are facing a situation where we're getting more and more water every year. So obviously, I mean, the drivers and our, our uh, challenges uh, are, are quite different. Historically, Europe is a very good place for water. We clearly see that the uh, technology is good, it has been improving and, and so the uh, Europe has, has done a lot, but Europe probably has to work together better in order to go outside. What's really neat is that Europe is really going in the direction of in the direction of solving societal challenges, and I think that's the that's the link also to uh, the initiative uh, that we are working on. We want to make it, and we shall make it operational in 2022 from now. But when this will be operational, we shall be the one-stop shop in all you need looking in high level of science in river, sea and focusing also on transitional zones between rivers and seas. But then our technology could have a much broader impact in South America, all over Africa, Southeast Asia. I mean the number of places in the world that could benefit from our technologies. A lot. <laughs> Well, within Wetsus we work with more than 100 companies which are financially contributing to our research program. And there we develop uh, breakthrough technology. Technologies which are coming out are taken up by the companies and they are bringing them to market. However, it is true that gradually and very slowly the Commission, the OECD, the World Bank, the UN have begun to say publicly, listen, water is an issue. The problem is it should be said much more clearly because water is actually the most vital environmental, socio-political issue of the 21st century. 